my game of Little Nightmares. I have to wake up my character. Um, I apologize for the weird uh, gap in the game. Apparently we had a little bleep in the loss of our internet service there for about five minutes or so. Um, so I had to basically wait until it's back on and start over. Um, so we're pretty much where we left off. We were running around in this room. We got the key, I put it in my pocket, if you remember. Um, turned this wheel around and I've walked around a little bit with my friend. Um, and this is what I wanted. I wanted my friend to boost me up here. Because there are a few things I didn't do over here when I was here the last time. And like I said, you can't climb or do anything on these things. I've tried. Um, I came in here. Let's see. So this is the stuffed lady that I found. Kind of roaming around the room because because when I was in here before I was focusing on one thing in particular um, and if I hadn't played this and had the other problem that I had today it's been a rough streaming day um, I wouldn't know that it was even possible to do uh, what was going on? This is where I miss uh, having Six's little lighter uh, to light up some of the darker areas in the game. Um, I was able to get up there. Just trying to remember how I got up there. can think of, folks, is that it's not letting me do this particular part, um, because I did it earlier, and my understanding is that things like gnomes and, and the statues in the first game are sort of like collectibles, and when I was in here before, there was a gnome, and he led me on a merry chase through a whole bunch of different areas. So, since I've kept my hat from that area, which is, I'll show it to you if you can see this menu. I don't, Paul, uh, I apologize if you can't. Um, I collected this no, this hat from the gnome. And this is the hat I picked up in the middle of the rug downstairs. Uh, but in the room by the boots, um, and the places I thought were drains. Um, so, if you can't see that when I hit pause on it, I apologize. I'm not really sure if you can see it or not. Um, so basically, when I chase that gnome all over creation, I really just end up coming back in the room on the other side of this. Oh, oh! There he goes. I can hear I've been babbling on about him. And now he shows up. Oh my goodness. Okay, so maybe not. Wow, after all of that, and I'm talking about, like, where the hell did he go? And now he shows up. <laughs> Kills me. He is very, very speedy. I mean, this is why I couldn't even remember where I chased him to the last time, because he's... Oh, I almost had him.
Oh. Got a lot to get out of there. I do know that he comes out eventually and he moves his picture and we run behind it. Oh, he's in a box, that's why. Last time he was under the chair cushions. I can almost get to him. in the cushion. Go on. Now this is an interesting room. There he is with his match. Or lighter. I think it's just a match. Now, if I walk this way, he walks this way. He will only go so far. I guess he wants me to take him this way. So, now he's kind of my friend. I'm not really sure. Um, come on. All the way over to here. And it's dark as, you know what, in here. So I did learn earlier. I can do this. He jumps on can push him across. He jumps off. And I have no idea where I'm going until I see his little light and he opens this gate for me. I was trying to figure out what this stuff was, but I just can't see anything. Um, but luckily for me, there is a light switch. I've checked out these things, and he is standing up there very happily, uh, I hate to use the word, sunning himself. Uh, behind him on the ground was where the gnome had, I showed you a little bit ago, if you were able to see it, was um, trying to remember. I think I have to go. Oh, yes, I do have to go a ways around. They certainly don't make it easy. Um, then again, if it was easy, it wouldn't really be that entertaining, I guess, you know? Um. Alright. So now I am up here. 
where he was. Now, notice above me, and I gotta be careful because sometimes things run to my head. Uh, there is another platform blank thing that I can come up to with a candle that is conveniently already lit for me. I can follow down to these. Because remember, he went on the thing below. He did not come this way. Um, and then I can come down. And now I'm in the room where he used to be. A sneaky little guy, isn't he? So I had picked up the hat came over here and I was like where on earth did that little stinker go because I'll be darned if I didn't ch chase him all over creation and now he has disappeared again and I'm looking down here uh, and uh, I can see I know Mr. No there's something on that shelf up there, but I can't get a good look at it. And there looks like a door there. So I'm just gonna jump, walk around for a minute. Since I can't remember where he ran off to. And I haven't really discovered a purpose uh, to the different hats. So it kind of makes me wonder if I put on, oh, this hat. Now I have a gnome hat on, if that makes the gnomes not run away from me. Be interesting to find out. And this doesn't come down any further. And I can crawl in here. Now, this is what I'm wondering, because you can't really see very well in here. And the last time I just sort of fell down to the bottom. And I'm going to change my hat back, because I feel ridiculous with that hat on. I'll put this one on, which is the one I wore when I was through here last time. The Daniel Boone, Davy Crockett, whatever you want to call it, type hat. Um, when I stand up, I'm going to see if it's possible to jump across and catch that. And it is. Now, I wanted to see... Okay. I don't know if it's... I can't go anymore that way. So rather than falling down, I can climb down. There's a ledge. Same thing. It's very, very dark, and that's the ground, and I said I can't climb back up here, I tried before, so what do you do, you grab the board, and get off, crawl through here, and now I'm back in the attic, and now my friend is suddenly with me again, um, so, I think it's funny if I stay on too long. He's just sits down like, okay, I'm gonna rest. It's time to go again. Um, now remember, I have that key. <gasps> oh, I hate it when I just fall down stuff like that. Wait for him to get down. And the door opens. Gonna go outside. And you can look around. There's giant footprints in the ground again. Um, can't go anywhere else I've looked. Um, I'm gonna, it took me a long time going through this first time around. Uh, now I know that this is what I need to do, so it saves some time for us to get through this particular section I'm gonna climb up so does my friend and we do this I 
All right, now we hear creepy noises. Say, shh. Like me whispering is gonna help things. But notice he is crouching. And if I don't crouch, he will signal to me, hey, you. You need to crouch. You need to be very, very quiet. So we're gonna come up here. Um, again, this is another area that I tried several different things um, just to see if I could do them. You can hear my heartbeat is going up because I am in a dangerous area. My controller is starting to rumble. Um, and he appears to be uh, butchering or skinning an animal of some kind. He's too busy to take notice of us right this moment. You'll notice that my friend is standing up. And I'm pushing on this. He's pushing on this. And we fall through. And let me tell you folks, as soon as we get up, we need to run. shot and you die like that and this is one of the things little night nightmares one like to do is to put you in a place that you had barely enough time to get to where you needed to be his face is covered by some kind of sack. He's got a hunter's cap on, a gun, lantern, and the hunter's uh, face only has just a little mouth breathing hole uh, in it, and he is wandering around looking for us. Now if you notice, my friend has put out his hand, saying, hey, come on, let's go together. So, took a little bit to get through this part the last time. I don't know how successful I'll be this time. Um, hopefully a faster than last time. Um, we're crawling through the grass, crouching, and there's a bird, and I stop. As long as I stop, he does not see me, my controller is shaking, my heart is beating, and I can continue creeping away, and then he moves on to his next station, or whatever you want to call it. Um, like I said, as long as when his light, see his light doesn't go past there right now. Um, if we were to make a noise or do something different, it would go past that area. So he's getting ready to come back. So I'm going to stop. And oh, we are right there. Um, so, um, just kind of eking along. Oop, still. <laughs> Luckily for us, even I noticed the last time up to this point here. He doesn't notice us. And then when he puts his lantern over the other way, we are going to run like the dickens and fall in this rabbit hole. And then he's gonna shoot in here a few times, so we gotta get out of the way. He's none too happy about the fact that his prey got away from him at least for now. Nice details to the tunnel instead of the air ducts now we've got rocks and tree roots and all kinds of fun stuff like that. Come on. Alright, so we're coming out here. And I'm 
trying to remember because I can't see him yet. Where? Oh, yeah. Okay. This part. So we've got a bridge that is broken. I can tell you from earlier. He's looking down there. I'm looking down there. And there's a little piece of bridge that's hanging there. Um, and without wasting too much time, after fiddling around for a while, I discovered I can grab this and fix this portion of the bridge for a few seconds. And he runs and jumps and goes over there and waits. Now, I tried to let go of this, and you can see I do, between falling, that it makes you do when you let go and that happening, um, you can't run and jump off of it like he did. <gasps> but it is giving me instructions to use call, which is the first time that I've actually used it for a purpose, not just to go, you hoo or hey, or whatever. So he runs over here, and sorry, my mouse uh, just slid off my thing. Now he is leaning out and holding his hand. So I'm going to run, jump, and catch, like I would grab onto something else if I was running, and he pulls me to safety. So another instance of teamwork going on. I've got some kind of bird or animal it's hard oh it's a bird it's just facing the other way up there we've got some crates um okay now i will tell you just so you can see it when uh to make sure where he is when i was here earlier i was like there's got to be a purpose to this um because if they give you something that you can straight up climb like that, and then there's a cage, there's usually a reason why. Oh, excuse me. These other cages are just kind of floating around in the air, but you can't get to them in any way that I have found thus far. So, I wanted to know what was in there. Now, there was an item, I will show it to you in a little bit. Uh, that made me extremely curious. So I'm going to do the backwards jump and catch onto the cage. And I'm climbing up to the top. And then what I did was this. And eventually it broke and it fell. And you can see there is a body of some poor unfortunate soul in there. And that poor unfortunate soul, and if you can't see this screen, you're going to see it when I come back to the regular game screen, was wearing this hat. Look familiar if you played the first game? So that's what made me think when I f you see this body with that hat on it, you're wondering if it's six. Um, and here it is, it's just a dead body, and you get the hat. So, anyway, I don't want to wear this hat right now. I don't really know if the hats have any other purpose. The only one I really suspect of a purpose is the gnome hat. But I do like the Davy Crockett hat, and it's less bright than the other one. And we still have a hunter in the area. Um, so I'm just kind of walking around through here. And now you can see him. He is on another trail, kind of adjacent to ours, and this time, my friend is in the lead. Oh, and he shot me. I, get, I got shot a lot before. Come on, wake up, character. Oh. It's really not cool. Um, Alright, I think what I did before was I stopped behind the block. 
And then I ran for it. And did one of these. Except he's still shot. It took me a few times. I mean, I guess I could wait. But he doesn't seem inclined to go until I catch up with him. Go, 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 go. Why are you not climbing? Oh, man. If I hadn't had that little goof with the climb, I would have made it. That, that hanging box protects me from that shot there. Or it would have. Just when I was trying to climb, it didn't work. Run, 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 slide. Oh no. Yeah, that was bad. Just goes to show, just, even though you may know what to do, and you can do it multiple times, it does not mean you do it well. And I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh, I took a nap earlier and should have had some coffee or something, but I didn't. Alright, jump, climb. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Alright, come on, come on, come on, come on. A little bit more. Alright. Come on, pull me up. Pull me up. Pull me up. And we have him still shooting at us. And we are both running our little tushies off to get the hell out of here. And now, let go. We are in a swamp and we're going to hide under this porch here while he bashes the door open. So I'm just going to sit here being really, really quiet. And he looks around exploring for me. Um, now I have discovered there are some things you can do, but right now I want him to just get the heck out of the way. I don't want to be too, too close to him. Notice my friend is still hiding. There he goes. Okay. Sometimes you have to grab each other's hand. And I couldn't remember if this was one of those times. Now this definitely swamp water here. And then we've got him standing right there, and there's some kind of dead something. And he's still looking around. He doesn't give up. So, this, I discovered. You can crouch and go under, and then come up on the other side. As will my friend. And, lead you to know that you can go underwater. Which just might be in handy when there's a guy with a light who's looking for you. So when he's not looking, that, and then when he's looking, crouch. Oh, he actually got me that time. I didn't duck quite fast enough. Let's see where it puts me. Okay, so we're back here. That's not too bad. So, um, I found out the last time I did this that you can only go so far and hit the right button this time, not the wrong one. Um, you see your bubbles, but also then you get into that place where they're like, <laughs> like did they, you know, if you stay too long underwater, it gives you the definite impression that they would perish. Um, and he's like, come on, come on, hold hands, hold hands. Oh, yes. Okay. I forgot about this already. Now you go up there when I can't do anything. Uh, run and jump! 
hide behind the log. And like my friend, you can see the little bubbles we go across to get out of his way. And my controller was vibrating and shaking probably again because, you know, hey, dude, you need to breathe. Um, so we're going to climb up here. We got another climbing wall, I think. Why am I stuck? There we go. I'm waiting for my friend. And you can see the light. So I want to be careful because it doesn't appear to be. Okay, he's over there. That's right. So we got light from some other source. Um, again, those cracks in the trees that look like cracks that you can crawl through. Not so much. Um, oh yes, I wanted to look and see. Mm. Oh. Oh. This is, it doesn't give you a very good view here. Um, they have done better than the last game, but still having issues. Um, until I do this part, I don't 100% remember what happens here, so I'm just going to run and go as fast as I can. Oh, uh, and why am I going so slow? That was weird. I must have missed something. Okay, so... We're waking up on the ground down here. The birds are still there. Pecking away whatever the heck it is they're pecking away at. All right, so ducking in that grass, he can still see us. The other one, he was closer and had better light, and he couldn't see us. This is gonna look like uh, a run a dodge game again. Oh my gosh, I should not be yawning while I'm doing this, but I just can't help it. So we're just gonna go, run, and go from thing to thing and thing and thing, and hope that we don't get shot. And we've got a house. Can we get in it without getting shot? Okay. Oh. And then we've got this. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. And the hunter has now been hunted on um, himself. My friend and I are both, I think, stunned from the jerk of that gun. And I tried to jump back out through that door earlier so I could see. But it does not let you see. But he is gone. And I do believe that the achievement here had something to do with, like... Uh, Fair play, fair hunted, something to that effect. Um, fair play for the hunter or something. I don't know. Anyway, the hunter's gone. And my friend is running quickly towards this door. And so I'm going to grab on to... Maybe you won't let me do it from that side. Trying to grab onto the door. There we go. Come on, help me. And now I am not in control of this at all. Um, we're just sitting here riding on the door. And when I did this earlier today, um, before I realized I had no video, 
Um, all I could think about, and I still think about, is the Titanic. <laughs> a whole theory about, yeah, they could have both fit on the, the door. Um, I don't know. It just makes me think of that. But here we are, two kids, floating along on a door for what seems to be an extraordinarily long amount of time. <laughs> In reality, it's really not that long, but it takes a while, it seems. I mean, I can't even stand up and walk around on the board. You can only just sit here. And at one point, I think my character sees land or sees something, and then that character stands up. And eventually, the other one does, too. But there's lots of debris floating in the water. There's a buoy and a bunch of televisions. And saw what looked to be like a bottle floating in the water. Um, said I have no control over my character, so getting off of this and trying to swim and see if there's anything connected with these objects is not a possibility right now. And there my person is seeing something that we can't see just yet. It's starting to come into view. Um, and what we see is what looks like a dilapidated post apocalyptic I got that word almost out properly today. Um, say buildings, like they look like they're tipping over, um, ready to fall. Things sometimes appear to fall off of them. Doesn't look like a very happy or well place. So, what I will tell you is that when I got to this point, before because I didn't know what I was doing on the other section. Yes, it took me a lot longer to get to right here where we have landed. Um, we'll tell you a couple of things. Um, let's see if it's... I guess that some of the things that looks like have changed because I was here before and some don't. Um, there was a person, like a dust person, um, standing here. When I say dust person, I'm referring to like in the other game, um, there was a giant eye that would, if you stayed in it long, and all, uh, long enough, it would kill, kill you and turn you to dust. Kind of like, uh, if you ever saw the movie, the Terminator or anything like that. They always show these flashback scenes and scenes of what, you know, the end of the world and the apocalypse, nuclear apocalypse looks like. And they show all these, like, frozen ash statues of people. I um, just want to show you that where I went is in the top of the screen is as far as I could go that way. And this is as far as I can go in this direction. So the rest just kind of circles back around to the beach. I don't remember seeing anything but these TVs and seashell type things. And then we're back to the door. Um, so I got up to this door. Once I go in this door, I have no idea what's coming. Uh, like I said, this is where um, I had quit and figured, okay, I'll stream some more of this tomorrow. And then when I went to check my video, I realized I'd streamed for, well, at that point, about two hours. And I had no video. So, here we are. And I have no idea. There's a bird. Yay. Um, I still wish I had my, my light or some kind of flashlight. I don't. Um, just looking around to see what else we've got. Um, oh, that might have been the bird flying away. Well, at least that appears to be just clothes. It doesn't appear to be an actual body. Um, I have 
no idea what I'm doing. So I'm just looking around, checking things out. There's that thing I can go through. What is this? Can I climb on this? Can I pull? I can climb a little bit on it. But that's about as high as I can go. Um, I can't pull boards off of it. Let's see what's over here. More clothes just laying around on the floor. Well enough to know. I was wondering if he boosted me if I could grab those pant legs, but I don't know that I can. And for now, we're just gonna keep going because I really. Oh, okay, we are in the city. I don't know what that was. There's all kinds of things falling down over there. Just piles of litter and garbage and. God only knows what in the street. Um, some ominous sounding music. I don't know if you can hear. Hopefully the sound is okay. This looks like somewhere we can go. Maybe it's safe to go. Let's go in here. Come on, friend. Let's go check it out. Go behind here? No, we cannot. Can we jump up here? No. I wonder if I can get on the stool. Isn't it interesting that this is now multiple? Oh, I hear coughing. Uh, multiple sets of clothes, and that in that case, clothes and shoes that are sitting in these stools like there was a person sitting there inside of them and then they just poofed and disappeared um i find it really kind of creepy and one of those what the heck is going on all right i cannot climb up on that stool it does not appear that i can climb up on that one I wish I had a better view. Oh, almost. Hey friend, you alright? I'll try it every one of them because you never know which one might be the one that it lets you do it but I, I'm just thinking that's as good as it's gonna get right there um, gonna give me a hand give me a boost Maybe not. I'm uh, looking at this side of the room. Just really quickly. Uh, it doesn't appear to be anything in here. I really want to know what's... Like, if there's anything back there. I almost feel like I'm supposed to throw something over there if I can. And see if wherever that cough was coming from. Um... Didn't even make a noise. <laughs> All right, so let's. All right, so we have a door that's partially busted in. Nothing over here. I've got a hat here. 
uh, more pieces of paper and clothing. Um, I'm gonna see if I can close the store, at least mostly close the store. Um, I learned in the last game that sometimes they like to hide things behind the doors. Um, so I just want to make sure that there's nothing back here that we actually need to see or do anything with. It does not appear to be the case. Um, so I don't want to get us completely trapped in here. Um, he's not giving me an indication that, hey, you know, let me help you. go through the broken door, because that's what we have left. This doesn't sound very good, does it? There's absolutely nothing over here. There's a window. I think that's not breathing, that's just that TV swinging around up there. I guess we're gonna find out real quick, because if we come in here and there's a bad guy roaming around, I don't think it'll take us long to find out. Okay, cannot grab onto those ropes. Ah! Oh! Alrighty, I was not expecting that. Alright, so going behind the broken televisions. Instant death. Good to know. Alright, so I'm gonna come over here. Got a light. There's really nothing else over there. Um, okay, so now he wants to boost me up. And then... Can he boost me up? Or can I boost him up, I mean? Well, I'm trying. Whoa, what are you- Oh! You need to come back. I'm over here. I was dumb. I didn't know what we were supposed to do. Come back. Take my hand. Come on. Come with me. Twenty-six. I don't even know what that means. But I unlocked some kind of an achievement. And he's just gonna sit there. Dude. Like, I understand you're waiting for me to help you, but... Let's try this- no. pick him up because I should just grab his hand. Can you not see how I came out? Oh, there you go. Okay. I didn't know I had to come back to get you through that way, and I fell. Alright, so... He is going to go... Oh no! <sighs> After all of that, that was dumb. I don't. I don't even believe that I did that. That was really, really dumb. And I did it again. 
trying to see if I could jump onto that. I might just have to run and jump straight to the noose. But it's probably going to have to be on one of these. T well, it's probably going to be this television. And I suppose that means we'll be separated. I'm trying to figure it out. Oh. I see. I'm working on it. Oh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh no. Thought I had enough swinging going on that I was gonna be okay there. Clearly not. Well, before that happens, again, um, I don't see anything up there but a broken television. And I know. Stop yelling at me. I'm doing the best I can. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was hilarious. <laughs> oh, I will take it, though. After... I, I need something kind of funny. Um, let's see how this goes. I'm gonna run, jump, grab. I'm trying. I thought this was gonna do it, but... Clearly, this... It's just part of what I have to do to get you into this room. Or get us together in this place. Okay. So now, I've survived that. I can't go down there. Let's see. I hear you. Oh, okay. So I'm going to push this off of here and hopefully pull him up. And he's going up. So I'm... No! no. Oh god. Um... Um, don't fall off of there. Oh, okay. He wants to do what we did before. I'm gonna hope that it works, because that feels like a really long distance. And it worked. Okay. Let's go. So this is where he came from when I brought him up on the TV with the TV. Um, Alright, I'm going to be very careful going across here. Okay. So... More swinging televisions. Alright, that definitely tell me that doesn't sound like somebody snoring or sleeping. Um, can't grab that. It's interesting. See again. Maybe somebody was hanging there by that news, see, and he disappeared his clothes and then everything are just left behind.
apparently that is not meant to be. Um, just want to double check this here. So the only thing we have is this. Oh no. Television bed. Do I want to run away to it? I don't know. I saw that kid outside by the TV and he was like dust. So does that mean I'm gonna die? How do I stop it? That's the question. The other um, I wish I could see better as to what was going on here. I'm jumping on stuff. I cannot see a damn thing. That TV is awful. I can't even, I was hoping I could like pick this up and break it. Um. No. Use L. That's right, because it stopped. Whoa. Okay, this is weird. Uh, let me take a drink of water. I think this is where I started this game. Or it looks, I mean, it's the same door. And then I suddenly appeared outside. Um, and my friend is not with me. That makes me a little bit nervous. I'm not sure what the hell is going on. Um, I don't know if I got taken inside the TV. And I'm moving in slow motion. Whoa. Okay. I'm not sure what the hell just happened now. Um, but the TV spat not just me out, but spat me and my friend out of it. So we are both okay now, which is wonderful news. But wow, that was really difficult because it was very um, debilitating to the character to hardly be able to move and then trying to figure out what the heck I was supposed to do to make that horribleness stop and I don't know if there's some higher purpose purpose to it or what did you want me what, what was that about I think we just need to get out of here, dude. Come on. Alright, so now we are out in a trash heap. It kind of makes... Oop. kind of makes me a little sad that I didn't... go farther down that main alley before I went into the building, because... I mean, I know thus far, you know, there's been no depth as far as going into the screen, right? It's all basically still side-scrolling. So I probably would have tried to go that way, and I 
thinking that I probably wouldn't have found really anything. I would have just ended up going the way I am right now. But, uh, I don't know that for sure. So now I'm kind of regretting not knowing that. I'm just trying to see if I can pick any of this stuff up. Now, we've got a dumpster. And again, this is still the edge of the world here. And we've got what looks like a beat. Excuse me, if I pick up the playground. And <laughs> this is a little bit of actual, like, life for you. Even, like, I remember when I was a kid seeing ch shoes hanging from telephone wires. And there's shoes hanging from the telephone wires. I just find it really funny. I, I don't know why people ever did that. That just always seems so stupid to me. Um, I don't know if this is a hat that I can collect. Or if this is just... just they like hats in this game. Give me a lift, kind of thing. No. Um. Did I miss a hole in the fence? I'm supposed to try to climb up that thing or perhaps smooth this thing and the entrance will be behind it which I think is the case yes it looks like that is what we need to do alright excellent now just for fun because I was just talking about it I want to see how far this way I can go Hopefully not die. Hopefully it just says, nope, can't go any farther. Ah! Oh, nope, I died. They're tricky like that in this game. Alright. So, really the only thing I've lost is... I may have to move that dumpster again. Yep, and that's not that hard, so... Grab on, friend. No idea what that character's name is. Um, gonna have to look up and see if I can find a picture to put on my side of my screen of that character. Um, I wonder if I could pull that all the way over here if I needed to. Um, I don't know if I can get back out or not, to be honest with you. I don't think that's the intention with this game. <laughs> Go all the way around this way. Come on, let's squeeze through the fence. At least it's not electrified. Uh-oh. This is like a schoolyard. And... A controller again, shaking ominously. Um, not giving us a whole lot of... Information here. Got a swing. And a tire. And I wonder if this is Hello. Okay, so this appears to be It's a fake way out. It's just to trick you. Right, my friend's like running all over the place going, come on, let's go, let's go. What are you doing? Um, we've got a bench with stuffs on it. I can't even tell 
there's books and maybe a backpack. And there's a picture of the eye that was in the first game. And I keep trying to pull the trash out of the bag. I got, oh. Well, that is the second child dust figure. Like, are you coming back to life? What are you doing? Uh oh. That happened to me when I touched the other one, too. Not really sure what that means, if anything. Oh, come on. I don't want to automatically crouch. I want to see if I can get on here first before I go up the rope that seems to be to going into the building. Um, and I'm stuck. I'm actually stuck right there. I cannot move. The game seems to have glitched. And I can't move. Hi. Um. Hi. All I can do is say hey. And then it. Oh, there we go. They don't finally unglitched. Doesn't let me do anything there. Or here. So, apparently I got stuck for no real reason, but... As in with the first game, this one definitely appears to have its own set of glitches going on. I cannot push that far. Which I didn't think I was going to be able to, because clearly I'm going to have to climb that thing over there, but... You know, I just feel like I have to check things out. And we've got a ball. Will he play kickball with me? No? I can pick it up. Can I throw it in the thing? What do you mean I can't throw it in the thing? Alright, I just have bad aim, apparently. Um jump on this one. No. This one has a rail. Why are you just standing there leaning on the net like that? <laughs> oh. Alright. Yeah, I know. He's just following me around. Oh, look. We have a broken window. Just gonna try. I know it didn't work earlier. Nope might be like the television thing and maybe I have to swing on it and stuff but I don't think so I think I just have to go up and go in this window I didn't even notice what time is it on that clock 11? a little after 11? is that what that is? alright we are now inside apparently what was once upon a time a school got a smoking can of something I wanted to see if I could get that hat and there's a picture on the wall I wonder if that was the school mistress and therefore if she was the school mistress is she going to be the baddie for this area to deal with this, folks. Are we burning books? Like, what's... What's the dealio? We have backpacks. I can't grab any of them. Can't push them. I can't pick up the books that are on the floor. Let's just double check what's on this side of the room. And we have a can. Making noise. 
sometimes helps because if there is somebody nearby, sometimes that triggers some kind of weird sound. Oh, look, it's a little shoe. Okay, well, let's go. No one's scary that way yet. And there's a switch. Aha. That's not creepy and disturbing at all. not what I wanted. I wanted you to help me. Okay. Is that a good idea? Oh. That doesn't look good. So, somebody's watching us through there? Turn it back on, that's what I'm trying to figure out. There's clearly we were supposed to see that we knew those eye holes were not right, and it doesn't seem to let me turn the lights back on, which I was leery about when I hit the switch in the first place. That do I really want to do this, but that's kind of how this game works. Is Okay, so I can get the lights back on. Interesting. So then, can we grab any of these things? And there's a big hole in the wall up there. Can we get on here? No. Go in here. Ooh. All right. So this was a boarding school, apparently. Um, we've got all kinds of toys laying around. Books. Weird little doll up there in a jar. What's the jar about? It's kind of weird. Can I get up there? Oop. Maybe if I don't screw up, jump, I might. Okay, well, the jars for breaking. What about the weird little statue? Never know with this game. Why are you going to hide? There's no noise. Oh. Me 
to grab one too. There's a weird toy over there, too. It's a very strange room. That one thing won't even move. Just boggles my mind. What is he trying to do? I, mean, I don't mind going under here and trying to figure out how to get to the other side, because there is something over there, but... I think we have to get over there another way, that's what I think. Like, maybe... Can we pull in this suitcase? Can I jump on this bed? No. There's a saw in the middle of that suitcase up there. That's not weird at all. I have no idea what I'm doing in this room. Um, that's the toy I picked up. On the dresser. That was really a strange doll. Um, nothing else over here but broken glass. That weird guy that I can't seem to do anything with. saying they don't give you rooms for no reason because this game does give you rooms for no reason but at mm, what's this okay well I've had rooms like that with that board sticking up that you had to fall through them or put things on them or whatever so that's why I was a little curious when I saw it like It doesn't appear to be the case here. I just don't see... Usually there's like a task that both of us need to do. And I don't know what that task could be other than I thought it was might be pulling the suitcases out, but... This thing is there's no light. And we got creepy noises again. 
in another drawer. I can't push open. And either the end of the hallway and the debris. Alright, so I've done this in the light. And I'm wondering now that I turn the light back on. You know, since it was on and then it was I turned it off. Maybe we're going to see other than this something different. What the heck was that? Oh my gosh, this is getting ridiculous right now. It's up here. Broke the glass. I did not. I can't pick up, knock over, or get around this guy in any way that I've been able to figure out. And right now, like I said, my little buddy doesn't seem to be much of help to me. Um, and I was hoping that maybe... Oh, now I'm stuck again, look. We're glitched again, folks. Yeah, I know, hey you. Come get me unstuck. <laughs> or just stand there and scratch your feet, that works too. Um, I wonder how long my character will be here. Hi. Yes, I know. Hi. Literally hitting every button on the controller. I'm like a uh, marionette. Like I'm hanging by strings or something, but... And there's... Other than the pause button... Nothing gets me unstuck. It's interesting. I don't know. I'm going to give it another minute and otherwise I think this will be a good place to stop for the night and then hopefully when I restart at the checkpoint tomorrow, um, I won't be floating in the sky like that. <laughs> Since my character does not want to get down again, I just... The last time they finished climbing up, this one I can't climb up, so I should be able to come down. Can't come down. So, I am going to say goodnight. Uh, for Little Nightmares too, and I will look at it again um, maybe tomorrow we'll see I got other things going on tomorrow so um, I'll have some time to ponder this and figure out what I want to do with it so here you go this is the intro to Little Nightmares um, it was the continuation of part one after a brief uh, internet outage and uh, we'll see what happens next time. So thank you and hope you enjoyed watching.